my name is Petra Kegel. I'm from New York City and I'll be uh, interning with GE this summer and I'm a first year student in the MAHRIR program. Hi guys, I'm Jake. I'm also a first year student uh, from Wisconsin and I'll be interning with Chevron this summer. So we're going to take you on a little tour of our school. So follow us. <laughs> Most important spot in all of Carlson, the Starbucks. We do have one on campus, world's longest lines. <laughs> I spent a lot of time waiting in line, but it's worth it for the coffee. <laughs> second most important spot, maybe, is the Graduate Business uh, Career Center. This is where you're going to go for all of your internship and full-time job offering needs. They help you write your resume, they help you practice interviewing, um, put on things like small groups. Uh, basically help you every step of the way. Anything you need career-wise, the GBC is inside. Should we stop on this? Yeah, we can go on inside. Take a look. So this is the GBCC. It's always friendly in here. It's a little empty today, <laughs> but there's rooms in here that you can do phone interviews if you have them, or Skype interviews. Um, you can meet recruiters, and it's just a really great resource to have on campus. And probably one of the best parts about the program is yeah. sort of what the uh, the resources that they have and the connections they have. So now we're going to cross this building, which is Hanson Hall, and we're going to Carlson, which is the main, oh, I should go first, <laughs> which is the main uh, building, I guess, for graduate students. Vacationing in Seoul this summer. Yeah. <laughs> um, and we call it for advice and just sort of get a different perspective on the world and HR around the world. Come on in! <laughs> Welcome to Carlson. Uh, so as teacher said, the first year you take all of your classes together as a cohort and literally just have the same classroom for all your classes. So hopefully one of them is open and we can show you. Um, our classes are taught by really great professors who have a lot of experience in um, research, in having worked in our field. We're taking a class right now with a professor who works with Uber. He's done stuff with the White House. He really knows his stuff. And a lot of our professors are like that. We have professors who've literally written the textbook on various subjects. And they're also really open to, you know, if you have a question about something from another class, you can always come to them. I know a lot of the second year students have said that over the summer in their internship, they've actually emailed professors with questions about compensation or with questions about staffing. Um, it's just been a really, they're really helpful. And they always have office hours, of course. So. Yeah, it's just really fun. Um, in between classes, we spend a lot of time in study rooms. Uh, you can rent these out for a few hours at a time, do group projects. We have a lot of group projects, so get ready. And that's where the balance of international students and domestic students is really interesting, too, because coming from Wisconsin, I've never worked in groups with international students. Before. Is there someone you need to? Yeah. We can at least show you through the window. There's a class going on. Yeah, Ching just go video him. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you're in our video now. Um, but each classroom is also recorded, so if you miss a class or if you don't understand something, you can go back and watch it, and that's been really helpful for I think a lot of people, especially right before exams, because yeah. you can then refresh. refresh. Or if yeah. you have to miss for interviews or something like that. Yeah. Our beautiful atrium. Yeah. So a cool thing too is if you see all the flags up here, um, that represents every time a uh, flag per person from the country. Yeah. At the Carlson. So, yeah. 
Carlson School yeah. specific. Did they say this is supposed to look like a ship yeah, or something? Yeah, I think so. I've heard that rumor. <laughs> but I don't understand it, so. <laughs> I'm not an art major. <laughs> Um, right over here is the study abroad office. You can study abroad for a semester, half a semester, a week or two. It's a really great opportunity for both international and domestic students to learn somewhere new. You get to do MBA related courses when you go abroad. Um, and yeah, I'll be going hopefully abroad in the spring to Hong Kong. And I don't, were you planning on doing maybe two weeks? Uh, so they have two week programs too, and I was thinking about maybe doing one of those, but I'm not sure. It just depends on how it fits in my schedule. Come with us, I think we'll bring you up to the HRIR library. So HRIR is such a cool program that we <laughs> get our own library, and you're going to go up those stairs <laughs> first. <laughs> Um, the library is not a traditional library. It is more of sort of a hangout. You, It's loud. It's definitely not a place that you need to study quietly. You maybe want to get yourself a study room, but it's a great place for group meetings, you get lunch there. It's just um, kind of a place people hang out between classes when they come on days they're not here. Yeah, and it has a really great reference um, section, so if you need to do any research, there's a lot of um, references and resources there. You can also get free printing and free uh, copying, which is special to us. Not a lot of programs get that. Yes. And also, all the textbooks that the professors require are on hold here. So if you didn't buy a book, you can always sure. check it out and study. Just take a little peek in the Herman Library. Our little library. Jennifer's, here are the textbooks. Yeah. Jennifer's usually sitting up here to greet us. We'll just walk on through. There's a couple of little study rooms, um, computers for printing. A lot of books. A lot of books. It's, a <laughs> it's, it's technically oh, a library. And they have coffee here. Yes, so some get people get their coffee. Free not coffee, at Starbucks, but here. Tea, always candy. Yes. Super important. Some of our study rooms. Um, I think that's, yeah, this is sort of the main space for us. So all the program staff and the professors sit just through these halls. I think I'm really easily, <laughs> Christina's, not here. Christina's not here either. She usually sits at the front desk here. I spend a lot of time with Christina. Um, but yeah, again, really easily accessible, really just a great resource to have on campus. We're going to take you downstairs now, and while we're going downstairs, we can maybe talk a bit about some of the activities we do. Um, well, I, I think they're going to get the panel, right? Are they calling you for the panel? So we can talk about, we, you can okay. talk about these competition. Yeah, so there's a couple of other things uh, to keep yourself busy besides studying. Um, <laughs> One of them is a case competition where uh, you work in a team of four and you compete. Uh, you get a business, a live case from a real business. So the chief HR officer from Land of Lakes actually gave us our, our case. We worked on it uh, for a day. <laughs> it's kind of intense. But um, then we got to present it to a bunch of different leaders from Land of Lakes. Uh, my team got second, but. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> but we uh, one unique thing about the case competition I went to was it was an international one hosted here at Carlson. So we had teams from Korea, India, China, Australia, um, and then another domestic, uh, another school here in the U.S. So it was definitely a very interesting. It was interesting to meet everybody, I guess. And actually, my team has people from four different cultures yep. on my four-person team from a domestic school, so it was also interesting. And then I'm um, a vice president at g which is the Graduate Society of Human Resources Leaders, and that's sort of the big group um, here at the HRIR program. I can't by the other option. It's sort of this 
social, um, philanthropic, and career development group, and I do, I'm the member relations, so I plan all of our social events. Um, we, go, <laughs> we go bowling, ice skating, we have tons of potlucks, we're going to a Twins game, we have just a ton of events going on. We do Leaders Live, where we get um, various HR leaders from companies. We have PepsiCo coming in next week, which will be really great to just talk about sort of issues with the company. Um, you know, HR experiences, and then we also try and do some philanthropy if we can. So we're hoping to do some interviewing with uh, local kids at the YMCA in the next few weeks. One of the cool events they're doing that I'm really excited about is the International Dessert Pop, <laughs> which is almost on my birthday, so I'm counting it as a birthday celebration. Yes, Jake's birthday, aka International Dessert Pop. Um, right behind you is the Master's Lounge, so we do have access to that. But it's mostly the MBA and business analytics um, students who use it. And it's just for master's students. Yeah, even we can get it. <laughs> even we can get it. <laughs> it's a nice little lounge. Um, it usually fills up relatively quickly. But we don't some people use hang it. out here. There's a foosball table and things like that. Ping pong table. Yeah. All these students study. <laughs> But most of the HR students, I would say, hang out in the HR library yeah. upstairs. Why hang out with MBAs when you can hang out with HR at our kids? <laughs> <laughs> We're going to go downstairs now. Um, this is a beautiful atrium. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you it's really interesting to see them walking in their offices sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Should we introduce Ching? Yeah. Yes! Hi! Hi! Um, I'm the one who's recording this video. And <clears throat> I'm an international student from China. So I really enjoy my study and life here. And for those who attend this affair virtually, I hope you can, you know, know more about this program and hope can see you next semester here. Thank you. <laughs> you want it back? <laughs> Jing's done a lot of work uh, putting in mid student state. Yay. You work as a program assistant, Jing? Yes. So this is the kind of basement area that and through this area you can connect to other buildings through tunnels. Um, yeah, there's a couple restaurants here. Panda Express. Program. 
um, in the fall and we get paired up with a second year. And um, it's just a great way to sort of find your footing um, at home. I used to tour guide in college, so I'm actually <laughs> really, really, really good. good. You're really good at yeah. <laughs> I'm a professional backwards walker. <laughs> um, but yeah, so our second years are definitely people you go to. And you see them around um, some, although obviously because we're on different class schedules, it makes it a little difficult sometimes. But they're here. You want to run a launcher? You can. There's also another computer lab if the HR libraries. Full, there's a full computer lab that way. But I don't think you get free printing. You do get free printing. Oh, you do? Yeah. If you're a Carlson student, you get free printing up to a certain um, amount. Or is it HRIR? Free printing. Free printing. <laughs> so we're technically now crossing into the Humphrey School, which is a public, public, public affairs, public policy school. Um, and we're also technically in the gopher way so in winter when it's cold it's not too bad actually but when it's cold you can walk through these tunnels instead of having to walk outside um, and they connect all of West Bank campus to each other so you can get to basically every building on West Bank and on the East Bank which is the other side of campus which is a lot more undergrads they also have another gopher way Easy to get lost, though. <laughs> there is one additional library on the this side of campus. Falls on its face. Uh, it's called it's called Wilson Library. Wilson library. Yeah. So that one's an actual big traditional library that you'd expect. Um, some students like to study there. It's a little bit quieter than our library. So this is the bistro. Another great place to get food here at Carlson. It's actually a taco salad Friday. So oh, really? yeah, it's pretty popular. <laughs> but uh, so they have salads. Uh, sandwiches and like rotating dishes. So yeah. they could have an like, Indian dish one day. Uh, they do a lot of like American style food. Yeah. Um, it's pretty good. Um, so, we keep going this way? Yeah. Yeah. Where are we? I think we're good. I think we are basically yeah. done. It's been really great taking you all around campus. We hope you've enjoyed it, learned something, and both of us hope to see you guys next year on campus. Thanks for putting up with us. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Bye guys.